Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Hi guys, I am just now starting to talk because the kids were making a lot of noise and my husband took them to the store. Um, my son is insisting on going to the store to get five toys. <laughs> he gets it in his mind how many he wants and then we have to try to be like, no, two. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> he wants to get all of these toys that he sees on like YouTube channels and stuff that the kids play with and he wants to play with it too so um I mentioned in the last video that my husband and I have been watching the the Marvel series um, in chronological order so we got to watch a couple things yesterday which was cool nice um, Just trying to make sure you guys can see everything at a decent view. Um, so we ended up watching Iron Man 3 yesterday. And like I said, it's been it's been pretty fun to watch it in in order based on because it, it, I think they're doing it based on the time like that it's set in so it's been pretty fascinating to watch that way and I, I've seen a few of them in like the order that they were released in theaters and stuff but then you know I had little ones and wasn't really able to go to the movies and stuff like that and I mean I would go to the drive-ins sometimes with them well we haven't gone to the drive-in since I've had Aiden so it's been a few years now um since he's three uh, but we used to take we used to take a tray to the drive-ins and he would maybe sit through one movie and then he would be like napping. So it was nice. He was, he was a pretty mellow, a pretty mellow baby when it came to that kind of stuff. So he didn't cry too much. Um, but then when he wasn't, like when it was bad, it was bad like he was just like not not having it like 
there like as he got older it was actually harder for us because he wanted to get out and play which was fine but then he would like want to go up front get in the back go up front get in the back go up front get in the back and it was just like a lot um so then he would get fussy because he is like bored he would get bored because he he really didn't want to watch the movies um even if it was like a kid's movie he wouldn't he didn't really want to so, as he got older, we stopped being able to take him to the drive-ins. Unless we really wanted to see what whatever it was playing, and we'd try to get him to go to sleep. Because uh, sometimes we'd go to the late night showing, and then just try to get him to go to sleep through the whole thing. And sometimes that worked, but... Like I said, he was pretty mellow, like, he liked his sleep when he was a baby, so, he don't like his sleep now. <laughs> he wants to stay awake as long as he can for as much as possible. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and if he even gets even five minutes of sleep, it's like, you know, he got his second wind um i feel like it takes a lot to get him to settle settle down and even want to go to bed and if if i can't like get him settled down before bed then he won't go to sleep he'll be up for a while flip-flopping all over the bed and wanting to get up and whatnot. So we actually um, we were told by the doctor to, to try melatonin, but I don't feel like it works. Um, and I don't know if maybe the side effects of taking the melatonin is not going to sleep, but I mean, I feel like they sh they both struggle to go to sleep, but only a tree is taking melatonin. So, um, Aiden is also the same way. He, you know, he wants to. Oh, my brother's awake, so I need to be awake. Kind of a thing, and so if if he doesn't settle in, settle down. If they don't both settle down at the same time, then neither one of them want to stop going. And it's getting a bit ridiculous as far as things go. And especially now with, you know, like the virus going on, you know, like the days are all blending together and we rarely ever go anywhere. Um, they're not able to go outside and play or do anything at like parks or, you know, anything. They're not able to do anything. So, and we're just in the house trying to do activities and it's, and it's been hard on the kids. You know, then they stopped going to, well, Aiden hasn't gone to school yet, but Atreyu stopped going to school, so that changed their sleep pattern routine, too, because then it was like, well, we don't have to get up early anymore, because we were getting up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, and then, because my drive was so far, um, where we were staying at when we were homeless, so, um, compared to my son's school. <laughs> so, we had a pretty, pretty far drive, so I had to get up super early. So...
feel like some of you are pushing upward. They don't, they feel like they are, but I don't know, I can't really tell. Part of it is, I don't like how it's not flat, fully flat. So I want to know what you guys are working on right now. I want you to um, comment below. Let me know if you're working on a small painting, big painting, custom painting. Um, what what company you like bought it from and. These symbols are like practically not even there. <laughs> I am curious because I was looking at um, me and Mayan's website, uh, not website, uh, their AliExpress store, and some of their diamond paintings up at the top say me and mine, whatever the company's name is. But mine does not. So I thought it was a little a little weird why some actually say their name and some do not. I wondered if they actually outsourced, you know, like they were a drop ship. But I asked if they owned the factory and they said they did. So, um, because, because it took so long for them to get a hold of the factory to get the picture I needed. Some of these diamonds are misshapen, like bad, like they have like an extra layer on the whole outside of them. So I'm a little worried about even having enough diamonds to, to, to complete a painting. So what I actually do in this situation is I will set aside and label, like I'll label the container and I will set them aside and revisit the situation at the end, like if I run out. So I'll be like, if I, if I run out, these ones are at least decent. Versus just throwing them all in the garbage because then I don't have enough to finish. Um, and I already used the money that I was refunded um, to buy the replacements for this color. So I and it took it took the full amount they refunded. So or pretty much like oh I think it was like. Three dollars less or something like that. Not not a lot. So, um, so I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I have enough based on the the good the good ones that I have that I will have enough. I just don't want to start using too many of these sh funky shaped ones because I don't want it to start having 
popping issues or because that's what happens when you have diamonds that are bigger than the space you're trying to put them in. Um, and they're also like a weird shape too, so they're not, they're not flat on all sides. So that part worries me a little bit just because I don't think I'm going to have enough if I have to keep picking through so many of these. But we'll see what happens. I mean, they're not totally like, like I said, they're not total garbage. Like, they could be salvageable. But it's not ideal. I'm going to try to do this on camera as much as I can. Um, and I'm definitely always going to film a time lapse. So, um, though there will definitely be um, it filmed for sure. At least that way. Um, I don't know if I'll always be able to film a color your world with it because... You know, circumstances doesn't always work out. Um, because sometimes my my kids will want to be playing music in the background or, you know, something along those lines. And since you really can't have that stuff in your YouTube videos, you know, I have to I have to watch background music and stuff, so So there's that. Um, but like I said, I will definitely try to um, get me completing this this entire project on a time lapse. And I will try to I'm probably gonna calculate how many days it takes to complete it. Um, so I started it yesterday on the 23rd of June and well, at least that's documented. And like I said, my computer space is getting pretty limited so I'm definitely that's why I'm definitely uh, filming on two, excuse me, you guys, <laughs> I'm filming on two different um, cameras because I want to make sure that you get to see the entire um, painting from point A to point B, so... The only thing I'm worried about is I'm using an old phone that only records for a certain amount of time. So I get a little worried about that because I think that if it errors, it like just deletes the, the segment. So, but that's why I have this. This camera could be a backup if this other one does fail. Um, at least.
actually kind of a workout. <laughs> Lifting my arm up this high, I might actually have to, to lower it down a little bit. Having it this high and everything. Um, because I don't want it to start straining my neck muscles. Because the repetition of moving, moving my arm back and forth. And that's another thing you want to, you do want to like stand up and do some stretches and be like after a certain amount of time. I'd say probably after like 30 minutes, you might want to stand up, take a stretch. If not at, at a half hour, definitely at it every hour because you don't want your body to, to cramp up and you want to get your circulation going and you know all of that um so my husband is like asking me why is that purple so much brighter than the background I'm like I have no idea <laughs> like I I think it's supposed to be but I mean I'm a little I'm a little worried because it kind of looks gray up there but I'm gonna I'm gonna be hopeful I'm going to be hopeful that the colors are all correct. I mean... I can only... I can only do it with what they gave me. And this is what they gave me to do it with. So... But sometimes you should, um, there's an app, and I don't remember what it's called, um, but there's an app that has, I'll, um, I'll edit it, edit and put in the name of the app, and it's, I know it's for Android, I don't know. If it is for iOS or not, but you, it, it's like embroidery floss or something like that. And, um, you can type in the DMC code and it will tell you, um, it will tell you what color it's supposed to be and give you like an example of the color and such. So... Um, and you know, sometimes companies mislabel their, their colors and such. So you, sometimes you really do got to look it up. If, if you're like looking at it and you're like, that does not look like it should be a part of my diamond painting. You really should like take a closer look at it and just see um, if it's the correct color um, for the painting because like I said sometimes that happens and you never know like like I said for who again I um, I ended up getting, I think it was for like Tiana or something, and her dress is green, like a bright green, and they gave me this really dark green that was supposed to be like 
super bright pink. I mean, not pink. Super bright green. And I'm like, that's not correct. So I looked up the DMC code and found out, nope, it was not the correct DMC color. It wasn't even the right color, I don't think. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a bright, really bright green, not a dark green. And then I also at the same time, I got, I think it was for Aurora. I don't even remember. It was for one of them. Which one was it? I think it was Oh, maybe it was Elsa. Uh, they gave me a pink, and Elsa has no pink whatsoever in her diamond painting. She is blue. Her dress is blue. Um, everything in it is blue, except for her yellow hair. I'm like, um, I'm not supposed to have, I'm not supposed to have pink in this painting at all. How'd you guys mistake that? So it does happen. They do make mistakes like that, so you've got to watch carefully when you're when you're doing them. Them. I just recently saw on Facebook that someone else got a, a rendering of a custom of their dog and I think it's their dog oh, it's, a, it, it's a dog so um, and the fur on it was they made it pink and the, the lady was not happy about that um, and they said that they would send her replacement gems but she needed to decide what color she wanted and I'm like Shouldn't they know a color? I mean, I did, I did suggest a color to her based on, I mean, but honestly, they made the painting, I think, a little dark, too, um, based on what she sent me of the original. So, when I looked at it, I was like, oh my, they made that really dark. So, I just, I gave her a suggestion of what color... Um, but I am no colorist at all. Like, I I can't look at something and go, yep, that's a great color for that. Oops. Um, so, I just said, um, like, if you have this color, try it. Because it's hard because when you blend these, when you run this through the machine and it tells you which colors, it's kind of blending the colors, too. So if you don't have all of those colors like rendered into the into it, then it's hard because, like I said, it's looking at each of these colors to base off of what works good with blending. So. I wish I can um, paint longer. 
like on camera, but with the weird angles I have to shoot at and stuff, like I'm not able to really get fully comfortable. So then my back will start to hurt and my neck will start to hurt and so it's, it makes it really hard to do even video for sometimes for even a prolonged amount of time. And that could be a shorter prolonged amount of time, but just do my best on the amount of work I can get in. At a given time. Because my husband's like, this will take you a really long time if you don't, if you don't work on it off, um, chat episodes. And I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be good about finishing stuff. I'm usually really good about finishing stuff. It's been a little bit harder. Um, finishing things since I started recording things because um, I spend time editing um, that I used to spend diamond painting so that's that's also hard too because he's not able to help me edit so um, I didn't want to go over this far so I'm just gonna maneuver these over here in this one this one. So I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to stay over in this square. Okay, so they should all be there. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to stay in this little square for today. But I get to talking and then don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, I'm just... I suppose I'm lucky that I can chat and diamond paint at the same time because um, some days it's easier than others but it's a work in progress so I just hate having to always pick out pick around diamonds like it really sucks I have to do that. I did that with my last painting with Twisted Blossom and I hated it. Like I feel like I shouldn't have to like really actively stare at these gems to you know make sure they are perfect. But it's just kind of frustrating because I kind of have to like give it a like a once over all the way around to decide whether or not it's it's a decent enough gem to go on the diamond painting. I want to just diamond paint you guys. I don't want to have to pick through them. I know I'm whining, but that's the one thing that I don't like about diamond painting. Is there something that you don't like about diamond painting? Comment below. I would like to hear it. Sometimes I don't like always like the start of a canvas because it's like um, like very little progress in the beginning. Whereas like I start to see progress and I get and I start to get like woo excited. It's like it's fun that you know it's it's coming together. You can see it. Um, like one of the ones that I'm working off of camera. It has a, a figure in it, and 
Um, and like, I was like, oh, I got her arm done. You can see her arm now. <laughs> and so even just that is like, is, is exciting to me because I'm like, she's turning to look 3D instead of like flat and you know, whatnot. Oh, I went too far below. So I'm going to leave those. Because I don't see any of the, any more of the symbols. And I don't want to put them back. I don't want to pull them off and put them back. Because then they'll start to stick to each other. Oh wait. You know what? Let me them over here. Um, if you stick these, if you stick gems down onto a painting, um, it will leave like a sticky residue on the bottom of it from the from the canvas so you've got to make sure that you don't put them back in the container after you've stuck them on because then they'll just be like a clumped mess i mean you can still use them it's just that they're gonna they're gonna clump up together and they're gonna clump up with ones that don't have stickiness and it's just gonna be like kind of messy like I said, you can use it. There's nothing wrong with using them. It's just, um, they might be a little bit harder to flip over and pull apart. So. I'm almost done with this color in this section. So, I'm going to switch to my next color. One more. Oh my goodness. See, this is what happens. They start to, like, have babies as we, as we speak. It's like, sheesh. That wasn't there two seconds ago. Okay, so that's my, that's my giant, giant square. Alright. And I'm gonna do... Fill in the number seven since there's less seven. Next. Number seven. These ones look really good though. So maybe it's just that color that looks not so happy. I'm hoping you guys, because I don't have to pick through all the colors and all of these. I mean, they still do look a little like they're not fully squared like one one side looks a little bowed but it's not looking like really bad and they're all squarey shaped instead of like squared with an extra skirt around them if that makes any sense See how much faster I can go if I don't have to search through 
every last gem to make sure it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a fast diamond painter, and I think the reason that I'm not a fast diamond painter is probably because I don't um, use a multi-placer. I use a single placer because I can't even do a three a three placer because they start to um, they start to get crooked and I'm more of a perfectionist like I said so I can't do multi placers not even three now I do have a trick that I do for I don't I'm not going to show you today because I don't have a multi placer on the back of my pen right now but I do have a trick how I how I checkerboard with a multi placer um, which I will maybe show you the next time I work on this. I'm a little concerned with the colors here guys. I, I've gotta be I've gotta be honest because this is like a like a brownish burnt orange and the background is like a brownish green so I don't know how this is gonna blend and I got this thing large enough that I should be able to blend with every color that is needed to blend well They're doing yard work again today. They did yard work yesterday during my filming and now they're doing it again today. I don't know why. I didn't think, I didn't think mowing the lawn and like blowing the sidewalks and stuff was necessary every day. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't know. And I thought when I lived in a house with my stepdad, he would mow the lawn once a week. Um, usually on the weekend, because he had uh, weekends off. So he would mow the lawn every week and he didn't require every day, every, every other day, every day, you know, whatever. So I don't know. Like... Do you guys have magic grass that grows faster than most? I don't really know. Ooh, I don't know about these colors, but it's it might blend okay once I get the other purple in there because that purple is pretty, um, pretty light. So it might. It might blend itself well. And I mean, these are some of the colors that I have seen in the painting. It's not like, like, totally out of question for this to be the correct color. It's just based on the muted colors that they are using as their background of their symbols. It's usually pretty, I thought pretty close for the most part to the color that you're trying to put down but then again I did have to ask them to increase the colors because when they first when they first sent it to me it looked awful in like only I think they did it in like 30 colors I'm like that looks like crap you've got to send that to me with some more colors or something because it does not look good for having that big of a painting like as big as this painting is there should be perfect detail unless it was rendered wrong somehow I mean I don't see how though, but 
Oops. I'm trying really hard not to bump this other camera. Because the cord is like right by my foot. And even touching the cord sends it sends it bumping, uh, bobbing, whatever you call it. Um, so I have to order after the crash yesterday that happened. I have uh, I broke the I broke the little cell phone holder on my tripod. So I am going to be buying a different one. So I had my husband buy me an, a second tripod because I actually want to do two tripods because I don't like this um, lazy arm being um, the other one holding this because uh, I'm recording this at 32 times the um, speed. So, um, if it's wobbling, it's just going to make it not watchable. So, I've got to make sure it's, you know, decent stability. So, my husband's pretty upset that I spent money on, a, on these lazy arms. But, you know, I didn't know that it was going to be that bad of stability issues. I thought that they would be pretty solid and it was cheaper for me to buy three of them than to buy one of them so I didn't know and I was also anticipating using two cameras um, to film so at some point so that's why I decided to get the three pack and then one of them broke <laughs> um, because I was having to twist it up so much that you've got to be really careful with them. And I guess, you know, you get what you pay for if you spend spend cheap money on, on them. And, you know, they may not be that great of quality. So... I just didn't know that it was going to rock so much. I mean, because even yesterday when I had it on the top of my thing, just touching right here to put the diamond on was making it go boom, boom, boom. I was like, sheesh. It's like an earthquake. So, that means I have to, that means I would have more editing to do because I have to edit out all of the rocking. So, I'm going to try to at least get this whole square filled in for this session. I'm just hoping it doesn't take too long. Because, like I said, I don't feel like I really paint that fast, but um, I'm not the slowest either. I mean... I just don't do the whole multi-placer thing. And this one would be a good one to do multi-placers on just because of how many colors there are in the blocks. But, okay, so that is it for the sevens. And you know, I see one of the other, oops, I almost dropped the whole tray. <sighs> Now I'm bumping the other table. That's not good. Um, I do see... Where did I put that color? Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Let me just get... Get that one out of the way. Now all of the rest of them should be should be the uh, club. I 
And then, like I said, these gems are really good quality because I got those from uh, DiamondDrillUSA.com. And I have not had any, any issues with these ones at all. They look really, really good quality. So I'm definitely happy about that. Um, they all look the same color um, because that's one of the things that I asked is just like, could you just please make sure that they're all from the same dye lot? Um, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not like super like, oh my God, it doesn't match exact color or, you know, like I don't, I don't necessarily really care about that. I just don't want to start a painting and then midway through have to change the color because then it's just not going to look right. So like when the dye lots are off, like I'm not like, I'm not using that because it doesn't, it's not exact. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do all that. But, um, if I, if I get the painting and it, um, You know, it doesn't, if it doesn't fully, like if I run out of gems and I have to order it, I'm not going to be very happy about that. I would try to get it from the same, same company. But you could you could get it from the same company and still have it it still could be wrong so that's always a scary part too because it's like you could order it but in one minute it's fine and then the next minute it you know maybe they didn't add enough dye drops to it or you know whatever that's why it's like, can I get a strand that is all from the same dye lot and not um, different? So, they did pretty well with that. And each company um, may have a different color too. So when I separate my diamonds, I don't, that's why I don't dump them all in the same container because they may not all be the same color. <laughs> so that's why I have to store them separately from each other. Now if it's the same, same dye lot and the same, you know, like from the same seller and stuff then and they look the same exact then I'll dump them all in the same same baggie but it's really hard too because like some of them are like a minute shade lighter than one or the other and you may not even be able to tell that with your naked eye you might have to shine a flashlight on it to even see that it's a different color and so that makes it tough. I think my neck is a little stiff because my husband um, said, I can't find your pillow. What happened to it? And I said, I don't know. So um, he didn't look for it, I guess. And so I didn't know where it went. And my kids were playing. So I thought maybe they might have taken off of the pillow and he just couldn't find it so later on um like I asked him to switch pillows with me because his pillow used to be one of my pillows but it started to hurt my neck because it doesn't um it's like this foam memory pillow and it's like you just you there's no sinking your head into it though i feel like the memory is like foam is like too hard and it's a cooling pillow too so if you're cold 
and you go stick your head on your pillow, you're going to be freezing because it, it gets cold. It has like cold gel in it. Because we lived in Sacramento and it would get hot and then my pillow would get hot and I would be like, ugh, I just want my pillow to be nice and cool. So anyway, he ended up, um, I was like, well, I can't use this pillow. It's hurting my neck. So because it's too high up and so he's like, well, I'll take your pillow then. So he has had that pillow since and like the thing is like, it feels like it's still brand new out of the box because it's still just as like springy as before and it like um has no give <laughs> it's still you know pretty solid so i still can't lay on it i tried it for a little bit and i'm like it's too high it's hurting my neck i can't do it so he ended up um, taking his pillow back and then in the morning it dawned on me like I think I had a dream about where it was at because it like I guess while I was asleep it had dawned on me where it could possibly be and I was like I bet you oh I don't want to keep dropping these that's not good uh, let me just replace the wax right now because I don't want to keep dropping gems on the floor Um, so, I don't know where any tweezers are. Crap. Um, oh, there's a push pin back here to use that. So, um, it dawned on me in my sleep apparently that it could be under, like it could have fallen under into our, under our headboard. Cause that's like, where else could it have gone if the kids didn't take off with it? Is, and we couldn't find it in the kids room. So I guess he didn't look, I don't know why. That would have been the first logical place I looked, but then again, it is my husband who, um, you know, was looking for it instead of myself. So I guess that's what I get. And like every time I go in to go to bed, I'm like, did you ever find my pillow? Like, because, you know, I thought it would have turned up on its own, but it hadn't. So, you know, I kept asking, what, did, did we find it? No? Okay. And I never went in to look, and every time I go in, it's dark. So I couldn't see <laughs> when I would go in. And I, you know, I don't really go and hang out in, in our room that much, because, like, all my stuff is up, like, all my crafting stuff is out here, and whatnot, and this is where I watch TV and stuff, so... So, um, yeah, it was under the headboard. I'm like, oh my god, it's right here. I could have had a good night's sleep instead of a bad night's sleep if I would have, you know, thought about it and, um, like, woke up from my dream sooner, I guess. Um, when I woke up from the dream... Um, it was morning and I was like, okay, time to get out of bed. And then I looked down and saw the, the pillow down there. I think I dreamt that it had a spider on it. So that was not fun. <laughs> um, so when I pulled it out from under the bed, I like shook it off and everything. Cause I was like, I don't want it to have a spider on it. <laughs> I am like... <laughs> Definitely afraid of spiders. I will have a heart attack, like, if um, a spider comes near me. And they always seem to find me. I don't know what it is about bugs, but they want to mess with me. Um, no matter what kind of bug it is, it doesn't matter. Like, it will mess with me. Um... 
Like, there'll be a spider crawling, and then I'll tell my husband, like, you need to kill that spider. And if he loses it, you know, like, why does it end up crawling across my foot? Or why do I find it on my arm? You know, it's, it's like, why are you messing with me? Is it because I don't like you? Um, because, like, if I don't see it, I, I can't kill you. So, like, why do, you, why do you want to find me? I don't get it. Because then I'm going to make my husband kill you. So, yeah, it's just that. It's a whatever spiders like just leave me alone um I might add the the blooper reel at the end of this of him with the moth earlier but like I will knock over a table to get away from a bug <laughs> it's that serious <laughs> I don't like bugs at all so, do not like bugs. I don't, like, I don't, I don't mind ladybugs. I don't like them landing on me, really, but I don't mind them. Uh, and I used to like roly-polies until I seen the roly-polies that live here, and they're like, armadillo roly poly so it's like um they are just not cute <laughs> whereas the little roly poly potato bug in California looks fine like it doesn't look like it's ready to eat me um and I don't mind butterflies I really don't like them landing on me much either like butterflies are one of my favorite things but like that's why I have butterflies on my wrist but I just don't like it landing on me like, I don't like things landing on me it like freaks me out and I don't know it's just they, it seems like they like like moths it seems like they like to smack me in my face like smack right into your face to like try to land or whatever I in I don't know it always seems like they fly right at my face I don't know why so whenever he catches he ends up catching the the moths and takes them outside he doesn't kill them so at least he doesn't try. Like he's had a, a like a 98% um, success rate at that. So um, like he puts the bowl over that, a bowl over them, and then puts some cardboard underneath and um, takes the bowl off the wall and then takes them outside so they can't fly the house again and so you know he's pretty good at, at, at catching them but they do they like to just like smack you right in your face and I think it's so gross if it were me I'd just kill it <laughs> but he thinks it's cruel because the moths are like butterflies and you know I'm like fine then just take it out <laughs> But I don't know why we are finding a lot of moths in our apartment. And my sister says that she thinks it's because, like, it's getting warm outside and the moths are landing on the door because it's cooler in our apartment. And so when we open the door, they fly in. But, like, these are some gigantic moths that I would think that if they were on the door... I would have saw it fly in but I don't know like it's like really like weird and that and then um, I know that they're really attracted to the trees that are outside our apartment that the apartments have outside because I was coming home one night and like the whole tree was just like fluttering with moths. I'm like, holy cow, is Luna Girl in there? 
Uh, uh, if you don't know who Luna Girl is, it's uh, from a, a TV show that my kids watch. But I'm like, holy cow. I think Luna Girl's hiding in the bushes. And I fully expect her to jump out, but she never does. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. But I don't, I don't know how they're getting in. Uh, if they're not doing, if they're not getting in like that, then I don't know how else they would be getting in because we keep our our doors closed and. Like, we don't even open our door and let the screen, like, we just leave, like, a screen door open. We don't even open our, our sliding glass doors. Uh, we have before, but, I mean, like, we're finding sometimes, like, a mop every single day. And I'm like, where the heck did they come in from? Because I feel like, I feel like it's not just... It's not like they're just coming in, um, off the door, because I would think I would see it, so, I don't know, but I'm getting, like, fed up with the pest situation, because I feel like we have a lot of pests, like, we don't have any, like, like nasty bugs but we have like um we have like a giant ant beetle thing crawling on our the arm of our couch like we thought it was it like a queen ant or something um but it was a like huge and then we had like this like millipede thing, like one with like a whole bunch of legs. We've had that in here and we've had like two spiders and then and that's all since we moved in. So and then like a moth every day. So I was like, what is wrong with like the pest situation around here? Because I feel like we have a lot of pests going on so to put a work order in and have them come spray I guess for pests because I don't know I don't know why we would have pest issues because I don't know like I said my sister said everything it like she thinks it's because it's cooler in the um in the apartment than it is outside so they're like coming in to get away from the heat but I didn't know or maybe coming in to avoid the rain because it's kind of like monsoon season here so one one hour it'll be fine the next hour it'll be pouring down rain that's why they call it bipolarado, because the weather here is bipolar. Uh, I am really liking this coloring, so I'm hoping that the color is good. Because I think that I think they're blending pretty well now that I have that um, other purple in there. Getting, getting better. And once it's at a distance, I think it's gonna look really good. It's amazing to me how our brain processes um, coloring and stuff, and how. Um, it blends things like, for instance, my, my grandparents family portrait, um, no, my grand, for instance, my grandparents portrait that I did is in black and white and it has a lavender in it and it has a, like a mint green in it, but from far away, you cannot see those colors. 
And you can't tell that those colors are even in it. So it's really cool that your mind like blends those colors together. Which is why I think this this will actually come out pretty good. Af like, you know, after it's all complete because it'll blend really well together. These gems make a little bit of a clicking sound sometimes when they're in like perfect. Um, you can't, you probably can't hear it because my table is like creaking every time I touch it. Um, and not all of them do it, but it's really nice to hear. It's like really satisfying popping sound. When you're sitting in silence and diamond painting, that's always a nice thing to hear. I'm just trying to make these as straight as humanly possible. Sometimes your mind plays tricks on you because I totally just looked at this and said, is that a plus sign? Oh my God. But it wasn't. <laughs> it was a club. But it totally looked like a plus sign for a second. My eyes had to focus. Ooh, I'm working my arm muscles today, you guys. Gosh, I feel like such little progress, but my arm is like dead right now from having to lift it so high. I am like, I really want to continue, but I don't think I have the arm strength at this height. to the one in front of me that's doing the hyperlapse and I've been recording for an hour and 26 minutes but it is only recorded it's only recording at 2 minutes and 42 seconds so the, the hyperlapse is definitely the way to go to have minimal 
minimal videos that take up like all of your hard drive space. Alright, so that is what I have for you guys today. I will try to work on some more tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it as much as I can in a daily process. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.